You're most likely going to have three choices for president on your ballot in November. This guy, this guy, and this guy. I realize you've probably heard a lot of bad stuff about him these last few years. But what if the bad stuff you've heard wasn't even true? And what if there's a whole lot more to him than you even knew? He's an attorney. He's won hundreds of cases against companies like Monsanto, Mobile, Massey Energy, Dow Chemical, and a bunch of other big polluters. And he's running for president as an independent. Not to spark a conspiracy, but if there is a proven track record that this man is not represented well in the media, and he also has a proven track record of bringing down and bring bad publicity to some of the biggest corporations on the planet, i.e. Exxon, i.e. Monsanto, I feel like those companies would have constituents in mainstream media. Just personally saying. Oh, Is that a chopper outside? Oh, shit! <laughs> We had a duty, they felt, make America exemplary for the rest of the world. I think the major issues that my uncle and father were interested in this country was keeping the country out of war. And then the civil rights, uh, honest government, those were the principal themes of his, of his administration. This gets me turned, man. Yeah, Fuck. Why, why are you, hold on, why are you so turned? Because that was back <laughs> when it felt like America was on the same page about being excellent at something. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get to the fucking moon. Why? Because that's the most excellent thing that we can do. America! Fuck yeah! Agreed. When it's just like, yo, let's just fucking be amazing. Yeah. Like, let's just be fucking amazing. And what's the difference between that and make America great again? Or at least the ethos of Oh, that. I love making America great again. Who say it to the camera. I Hold love on. America making America great. Like, <laughs> this nigga stumbled. The race oh, the oh, racist oh, chromosome I, came I, in. I, I, <laughs> you can't see that, you're black. Okay. Um no, I, 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 I love the idea of make America great again because on his face, like just moving away from the Trump and what your associations with him are, what could possibly be bad about that? When was America great? You mean during slavery? Yes, America is a land of a history of slavery. Mm -hmm. It is a land where uh, we've gone into foreign countries and fucked them up. Mm -hmm. This is a land where we do have homeless people in the streets while we also have billionaires. Mm -hmm. And what makes greatness great is not the absence of problems with the presence of achievements. And this is also the same country that made our species get to another planet. Or sorry, not another planet, another celestial body for the first time. That's fucking incredible. <laughs> like, like, and guess what? If our marker of someone being great is that they have no problems, or our marker of a country being great is that they have no problems, nothing will ever be great, nothing has ever been great, and nothing will ever be great. Mm -hmm. So greatness is not about the absence of problems. It's about transcending the problems and looking for something that really pushes everyone forward. And this is still the country that said, hey, everyone is equal, at least on paper. <laughs> we claim that. And that was new mm -hmm. for the civilization, for the mm -hmm. species. This is still the country that said, hey, we're going to abolish slavery. We're going to make it actually against the law. Mm -hmm. There are many countries where that's still not the case. There's mm -hmm. still slavery in the world. Mm -hmm. This is still the country that said, we choose to go to the moon. Mm -hmm. So, I don't feel like we have any of that now. We're, we have problems just like the past, but we also don't have anything that we're reaching for that goes beyond mm -hmm. the problems. And that's the problem with right now. America is not great right now. So it means something when he says make America great again, because I would rather be the country that has a shitload of problems, but is trying to get to Mars. Greatness looks like moving the whole species forward in a way. And I think yeah. America has really stood for that over yeah. the last 200 years, multiple times, yeah. including when John F. Kennedy was president. Who's left and who's right? These labels make less and less sense. I've been fighting corporate corruption for 40 years. I know how they work. I know how to clean them up. And that's why I'm running for president. And that's why I'm running as an independent. I think this the country can be recovered and restored and can become a moral authority again in the world. I'm going to work as hard as I can to make that happen. Doesn't all corruption sound like conspiracy until it gets proven? Which is what helps corruption stay <laughs> Exactly. <active. laughs> so this is a guy who for 40 years, he's made his mark exposing corruption. And, yeah. it's like, and being the canary in the coal mine and saying, 
I see shit. There's a problem here. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to prove it. Can we talk about this? And he consistently <laughs> does it. Yeah. So at what point do we say, hey, maybe this fucking canary. Maybe he's got a point. Yeah, maybe this canary's got a point. Maybe we should yeah. listen this time rather than conspiracy theory, conspiracy theories. Because yeah. what, from what I've seen, every time he talks about the things that people are decrying as conspiracies, mm -hmm. he comes loaded yeah. with facts. At that point, we had enough rat studies, enough human studies. We had about 10 of each. And we were able to go to the judge and say, we got enough science on this now to show that non-Hodgkin lymphoma is being caused by glyphosate. I don't know if these facts are true because I'm just not, I, can, I literally can't verify it. I don't mm. have access to the sources you do. Mm. But I can tell when someone actually sounds like they know what they they're talking about. They thought through their shit. Yeah, yeah and not, they're not just confident. They actually like have facts. Yeah, yeah. You know, I saw him to Monsanto on behalf of one man. Damn, there I was we go. just thinking to myself, I'm like, yo, where do black people live? Yeah, finally. RFK is crazy, and that's why you should vote for him. He's crazy enough to say the things that could literally get him killed and got his uncle killed. He's crazy enough to go up against these companies that could have killed his political career early. Mm -hmm. He's crazy enough to stand up for the one plaintiff who is a black guy against these massive corporations that control headlines have can fund a campaign individually he's crazy and that's exactly what we need because we are in crazy fucking times mm -hmm. and we need a crazy man with a crazy level of courage a crazy level of conviction a crazy level of clarity to stand up to all that yeah and by the way abe lincoln was considered crazy at his time yeah. right yeah. martin luther king considered crazy at his time mm -hmm. jesus christ Considered crazy. At Amari Tuakli. Crazy. Why is in the Seattle? Bat shit insane. Here's the deal. There are only two entities in America who are immune from litigation. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and pharmaceutical companies in their production of vaccines. That's it. And the rest of us are held accountable when we harm someone. But not Big Pharma's vaccines. And when I first heard of him, he was uh, working against uh, mercury in fish. Nobody ever said he was anti-fish. When Bobby knows that there's an injustice going on, it consumes him. He's a truth teller. He has a desire to set things right. I feel inspired now. Really? Yeah. Tell me more. This is the territory that could get you fucked. <laughs> like, it could fuck up your whole life. Yeah, yeah. And he was willing to basically like forego, it sounds like a meteoric rise to a presidential nomination mm -hmm. to fight for what he thought was true. And mm -hmm. I feel inspired by that. Mm. That's politically insane. He actually believes in fucking something. He stands for something and you can feel it from him. I'm not trying to lead the witness, mm -hmm. but it's just like juxtapose this montage again. It's like grab him by the pussy. And it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like come on. If you've been following, you know, we've been somewhat complimentary of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I think as an op uh, as a reaction, yeah, equal yeah. opposite reaction to yeah. people who shitting on him. It's like, yeah. hey, there's some things to like, but I'm like, this is presidential. Yeah, yeah. It's RFK a, is presidential. It's, it's everybody's bias and da, da 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 But for me, it's like, okay, if you're just going to present me with three options. I'm actually excited about this. Yeah, it's like, this is... Is this a, even a conversation? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, let's see what this guy can do. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm like, yeah. Oh, I think that ca this guy could actually solve the situation yeah, we're in. Yeah, and we should talk about this. Most likely, it's going to be between Biden and Trump. Yeah, there's so much noise around him. Mm. It's preventing people from even wanting to investigate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're yeah. like, oh, if people are saying this much negative stuff, and all these organizations are saying negative, it must be true. Which, if I am the head of a corporation that's selfish, mm. and I know that. Bobby Kennedy being elected president would like fuck with my shit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I want more noise. Mm -hmm. Bring more noise. Of course, yeah. I'll bring more distractions, bring more mm -hmm. reasons why you can't pay attention to him because mm -hmm. I feel like objectively it's kind of an obvious selection. I'm inspired by RFK, big time. This industry is powerful and it has deep ties with media and it has deep ties with government. Why do you think these drug companies are spending so much money on ads during the news? It's not to sell their products. They're doing just fine with that. It's because they want to control the message. They hate Bobby Kennedy. There is a person standing in their way, like a student standing in front of one of those tanks in Tiananmen Square. So now I'm subject to this new form of censorship, which is called targeted propaganda, where people apply pejoratives like anti-vax. I've never been anti-vaccine. But everybody in this room probably believes that I have been, because that's the prevailing narrative. My children are vax. I vax. I'm fully compliant with the vaccine schedule myself, except for COVID. I have never been an anti-vax. 
anti-Semitism, racism. These are the most appalling, disgusting pejoratives, and they're applied to me to silence me. Uh, I think it's actually important to contextualize what he means by silence, mm -hmm. um, because he has had interviews pulled down from social media platforms, and I'm sure the excuse is always he's spreading misinformation, whatever. But there's a difference between being criticized and literally being silenced, and that's been part of the problem. It's hard for him to even get lift off because the content's not even available to people and if you, on these mainstream platforms. If you are an American person, mm -hmm. even if you don't like Robert Kennedy Jr., and you see that that's happening, there's I, I just don't understand how you're not worried about your democracy. Yeah. Like, how are you not worried about your democracy yeah. when select people Oof. aren't allowed to speak? It's like... That's a you, clear flag. You don't, like, I don't understand how that doesn't concern you. Yeah, because we've gotten to this point where people have decided that information is, it's better to oppress information because it might be dangerous mm -hmm. than to teach people to think for themselves. Yeah. So, oh, he's dangerous. He's problematic. What he's saying is, shouldn't be platformed. Like mm -hmm. these are basically anti-free speech arguments. Mm -hmm. That's fundamentally what they are. And you can't have free speech be a priority and also say we're going to oppress stuff because it's unsafe rfk is crazy this is why you should vote for him that's yeah. exactly why yeah in an insane world anyone who's called crazy is probably sane y'all hear that <laughs> right? it's hot it's it, heated <laughs> yeah I, i'm fucking hot right I, I think we can all agree the world's gone fucking insane like hopefully we can all agree after COVID, yeah, yeah. Iraq war, yeah, yeah, yeah. social media, the transgender phenomenon, all the shit. It's like we've gone fucking crazy. Nobody's as a species, looking out the window like yeah, this, works. right? <laughs> so if an insane world is calling someone crazy, isn't there a chance that the sane person is actually the one who would be thought of as crazy? Isn't it possible that the person who everyone is calling crazy is actually the sane one if everyone else is insane, including you and me? I have beliefs that I don't even know that are fucking crazy. You do too. We all need to be humble enough to look at it. It's like, no, we are in a crazy world. So if someone else is getting crazy, I should pay attention because maybe they know something, man. Yeah. Like, holy shit. I don't know. This should be obvious. If nothing else, this should be obvious. It's not obvious who's telling the truth, but it's obvious that we're in a world of lies. I mean, the dude that said Earth was not the center of the universe was called crazy. Yeah, Copernicus was called crazy. And it's like... And guess what? Everyone else was crazy on that particular point. The guy who uh, discovered bacteria and as a source of illness mm -hmm. was called crazy and was called a quack, and he died penniless in an insane asylum. Jesus Christ. RFK Jr. is polling better than any independent candidate since 1992. You're the first person in my lifetime as a 26-year-old who I have actually been excited about. I appreciate his authenticity, period. Something is stirring in us that says it doesn't have to be this way. We love that. Damn. Ah, oh, that was refreshing. Holy shit. All right, just real-time reflections for yeah. the people to take home uh, after watching this video. Thank you all for checking in and tuning in and caring about the future of America by watching this video. Um, you could have been on Pornhub. After watching this video, as a 31-year-old man who, to be honest, has been apathetic at best mm -hmm. towards politics for the last, like, decade mm -hmm. and cynical at worst, um, I think that watching this Robert Kennedy video for maybe the first time ever, I'm like, I think we can do something here. I think change is possible. Um, and I think they call that hope. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, I, I think just like watching this video is maybe the first time in my life I have felt political hope. Exactly what you described. I think a lot, I think a majority of people of our generation actually feel that way. After Apathetic this? at oh, best, after, cynical yeah. at yeah. worst. Mm. And the fact that watching this video moved you to feel differently is a sign of his greatness mm -hmm. that's what greatness does mm -hmm. it's not about being perfect it's about being able to move people to an entirely new paradigm mm -hmm. that they weren't even considering before and i'm i already liked rfk i didn't think about him that much though mm -hmm. uh, i just didn't really consider him he just wasn't top of mind like you mm -hmm. know there's a lot of other things to pay attention to and i was kind of thinking of it as a two-horse race mm -hmm. uh but now i feel inspired to actually not just vote for him but also to evangelize 
about what he's doing because this guy is amazing. Mm -hmm. Seriously, he's the real deal. From what I can tell, he's the only person who's the real deal who's running in this election right now. And look, regardless of whether he wins and is an effective president or runs and loses, I think it's important for people to vote for him to take a stand for what is fucking truth and good in this fucking world. One of the concerns that people have when they're considering voting for a third party candidate is, oh, well, what if it takes votes away from the person who's a lesser of evils? You don't get to a good world by avoiding lesser evils. You get to a good world by choosing good. Mm -hmm. And he's good. Yep. Tune in next week on the season finale of America. Will we get uh, renewed for a new season or will this be the cancellation? Is it late stage civilization. Yeah, <laughs> late stage civilization. Where are you placing your bets? On whether he'll win? On whether this is the end of America. <laughs> I don't think it's the end of America. I Do you think, think he's going to win? I know I'm voting for him. I'd actually, actually, it's actually irrelevant whether he's going to win. I know I'm going to vote for him. This was a moment. Just so you know, we go, we, I'm talking to the future. This was a moment when everything changed in America. When Kaizen said, I'm voting for RFK. And then the cultural tidal wave that came <laughs> after that. And she, <laughs> Stop him. He's too powerful. <laughs> So yeah, uh, y'all should watch this video. You should probably subscribe before it gets taken down, to be honest. Just in the best interest of America and freedom and truth in general. So uh, I'll say for myself, am I going to vote for Bobby Kennedy? Are you? I'm going to do my due diligence. I'm going to see if, uh, I mean, I think that, you know, Trump better hire fucking Scorsese or fucking <laughs> somebody. Like It's like the diss record with Drake. It's like, yo, you, you got to, you know, make sure you show up. You heavy. Make sure your next shit slap. Yeah, <laughs> because right now, you know, uh, Bobby Kennedy is the proverbial Kendrick Lamar. He just dropped the fucking first track. And it's mm. like, yo, we waiting on Drake to be like, hey, what's up? Good reference. What you got? Thank you for the culture. So, yeah, I... I'm open and willing to consider other uh, alternative perspectives on Trump and Biden. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, like, y'all got some catching up to do. Okay. And on the behalf of RFK, I'll say, motherfuck the big three. It's just Bobby Kennedy. Damn. That was highly relevant. <laughs> you see what he did there? Because there's three candidates. Anyway. <sighs> too much. Too Peace. much. Peace, niggas. Fuck the big three. It's just Bobby Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy.